He's worthy of the honor. He's worthy of all the praise. Let's bless his name. Oh, hallelujah. Anybody come tonight looking for something from God? We're ready to receive a blessing from you, God. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Oh, Lord, in your presence, just break me all the way down. Break me. Break me, 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 break me,
receive your blessing today. Receive your blessing today. Lift up your hands today unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The blessing, the blesser comes down. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Woman of God, I'm going to cut this song down a little and just have it playing in the background. Because yeah. To hear an urge and just to go in on and get started. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I'm excited. Yes, Amen. Lord. Amen. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. This is found in Psalms 122 and verse 1. This is church today. You don't have to be in a, in a building. We can have church in our home. We can have church in our car. We have a church right now because God wants to give a word to us on today. So we invite you to come on in and rest a while with us and open your ears, open your hearts to receive what thus said the Lord all day through the mighty woman of God. Hallelujah. God is here. God is right here with us. Let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. Father God, we just bless you, we glorify, we magnify you and praise your high and your holy name in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father God, we just ask you to come on in and have your will and your way today, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, forgive us for our thoughts, our, our acts, our motives, our attitudes on today, oh God. Oh, God, move by your power, move by your spirit, move by your anointing and destroy yokes in the lives of people everywhere. Everyone that's going to hear this broadcast live and those who are going to hear it later on, Lord God, in the level of shake, in the level of shake, in the name of Jesus, in the level shake. Oh, God, just have your way today. Work miracles on the day. Open up blinded eyes and stop deaf ears, oh God. Let the tongue speak, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Do it like only you can, Lord God, because your word says you sent your word and you heal them and you deliver them out of all their diseases. God, do it today, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, like only you can. The devil is raging on every hand, but God, you are greater. You are the great I am. You are Jehovah, Jireh. You are Jehovah, Shalom. You are Jehovah, Sit, Kadu, God. I need a your old say. Oh, God, just have your will and your way. Send down your yoke destroying anointing. Send down your devil, devil chasing anointing today, oh God. In the name of Jesus, to transform hearts and minds across this globe. Oh God, and I'm over. Oh, see. God, you already give the woman of God a life changing word in the name of Jesus. So use Apostle Bonnie Foster for your glory and your honor. No praise, no flesh being glorified. Glorify and magnify your high and your holy name in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we're sending our total selves into your will and your way today, God. Release peace, release joy, deliverance, healing in the, Bosha, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. In the name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen and amen and amen. Mm. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'll be reading you here in 1 Corinthians, the 12th chapter, verse 28. And it reads, and God has set some in the church, first apostles, secondarily prophets, thirdly teachers, after that miracles, then gifts of healings, helps, governments, diversities of tongues. Amen, amen. That, what thus saith the Lord, this is the word of the Lord to all of God's people. Mm -hmm. Amen. I have the blessed privilege to introduce to some, hallelujah, and introduce to others 
my sister in the gospel, my co laborer the visionary of this great work ministry engagement, Team Jesus, Apostle Bonnie Foster. Amen. We met through Facebook. Amen. I, did, I never knew her, but I came across her name one day and I felt led to, to reach out for friendship. And she accepted my friendship and we got on the telephone and she was getting ready to have prayer, a, a prayer uh, on Saturdays and Trinity Hour. And she called, I called her and we can begin to talk. And she said, God is telling me that you're supposed to teach. And God had already put in my spirit that, okay, okay, I got it. I thought I was just going to be, you know, just a one-time guest. <laughs> and then she invited me up here. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Another uh, member was up here. She invited me one time to be a guest, a guest speaker. <laughs> a guest. Amen. One time guest. I've been up here ever since. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Amen. And, and, amen. It's, it's God. It was God. Man, but I'm, I'm thinking in my own self mind, okay, it's just going to be one time. I probably come go back and forth. I I got I got I got up here. I haven't been, I haven't left yet. <laughs> Amen. It's been, it's been going on years right now. Amen. And I thank God for being a co-labor with this mighty woman of God. I've learned so much from her. She's she's encouraged me. She's strengthened me. She's corrected me. Amen. She's given me she's given me what God has given her to tell me, and I've grown. Amen. And just in the last few months, I've grown tremendously. Mm, yes. just, oh, hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. The woman of God who has, who has over 30 years experience in clinical psychology, but most of all, she loves God. She's called God. She's, she's not only an apostle, she's a prophet. She's a loving mother. She's a grandmother. She's a sister in Christ. Amen. She loves people. And she will give you what thus says the Lord, whether you like it or not, because she's going to be found being obedient, <laughs> being obedient to what God gives her to say, because she don't want to be held accountable for anybody's blood. Amen. She warns people. Amen. What, what God has already said is going to come and it has come to pass. Amen. She takes no glory for herself because she says to God be all the glory. Amen. When you try to give a company. Yeah. All the world because she we dare not take any glory from God. Amen. 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 After the song plays, the next voice you hear will be our very own apostle, prophetess Bonnie Foster. Amen. 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 On the rights to the music. Everybody raise your hand because we all must participate in what God has for us today. So everyone lift up your hands and start just praising God to be able to receive all of the fullness. You hear me? All of it. It doesn't matter if you are even an apostle or a prophet or evangelist. It doesn't matter if you got breath in you. Lift up your hands and come to the Lord. God, because it is something for everyone today. Ooh, hallelujah. As a woman of God says, this is a platform to help you grow spiritually. When you go to that next level in the Lord, God, you can't do it not putting anything in. So come and join us. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. So praise God. Oh, hallelujah.
process mm -hmm. differently after mm -hmm. the word on today. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. oh, hallelujah. So, Lord God, I come before you, God. Remove me from flesh, Lord God. Bind up flesh, Lord God. Lord God, I pray that you stir up the prophetic anointing, stir up the apostolic anointing, stir up the evangelistic anointing, the teaching anointing, God. Lord God, that will make preaching easy, God. I pray, Lord God, that as, as I speak your word, God, God, that people ears, Lord God, all spiritual wax, God, will be removed, God, and their hearts that they will be able to receive the word and they will become true jewels of the word. And all, Lord God, that are, are, are caught in sin or, or, Lord God, that the word hits, I pray for their change. I pray for their healing. I pray for deliverance. And I pray that each person, God, is catapulted, God, in the name of Jesus Christ to the next level in you, God, and that they walk in their purpose, that they walk in their calling, that they walk as a child of God like never before, God, and that your will, God, your will and your way be done in my life and their lives, God, and the lives of all the listeners and receivers that hear the word, God. May your will be done in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior's name. Amen. 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 God, all the glory. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, the glory. Oh, my God. The word on today. First Peter 5 and 8, um, it says, be sober, be vigilant, because the adversary, your devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeing whom he may devour. Mm -hmm. When the defenses, when our defenses go down. Mm -hmm. When we aren't paying attention, when we aren't walking in the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit like we're supposed to, we become vulnerable. Mm -hmm. And that to attacks of the demons and, and the master of, of intrusion, and they lurk mm -hmm. and they wait for any opportunity to take yeah. us out, even as we sleep. Mm -hmm. Specific demons that are on assignment while we're asleep to take us out also. However, mm -hmm. today, you're going to learn what's been going on. You're going to learn what you and I and all others need to do not to become a victim of the enemy. The title of the, that God has given me is called The Altar. Four parables of the witches, warlocks, showboaters, and recontaminators. Oh, my. Y'all heard of lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my. We're talking about the witches, the warlocks, the show, showboaters, and the recontaminators. Oh, my. Mm -hmm. Oh, hallelujah. And I want to thank God for Laura Sumter's Gaffney. Because when I was speaking to her on the phone, is that I started hearing in the prophetic, and God gave me this word, damn, but I just didn't know when I was supposed to come forth with it. So I thank God for you, woman of God, our beautiful mm -hmm. sister Laura, for having such an anointing on you to where I'm hearing God speak and telling me what to come forth on in the word of God. And so I thank God he is good. Um, I'm going to start reading first Matthew, and it's Matthew um, 12, 22 through 32. And it starts, then was brought unto him one possessed with a devil, devil, bind and dumb, dumb, and he healed them, insomuch as blind and dumb, both spake and saw. And all the people were amazed, and they said, Is this not the son of David? But when the Pharisees heard it, they said, Oh, hallelujah, this man do have cast out devils, but by Bezabob, the prince of devils. And mm -hmm. Jesus knew their thoughts. Mm -hmm. And he said unto them, every kingdom divided against itself and it is brought into desolation and every city or house divided against itself cannot stand. If mm -hmm. Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? Hmm. And Bezabob cast out devils by whom your children cast them out. Therefore, they shall be your judge. Hmm. But I cast hmm. devils out by the spirit, oh, hallelujah, of God. Then the kingdom of God is come upon you. 
or else how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil mm -hmm. his goods except he first bind mm -hmm. the strong man and then he spoil his house mm -hmm. he that is not with me is against me mm -hmm. he that gathers not with me scattered abroad Hmm. Wherefore I say unto all, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto man, but blasphemy against the Holy Spirit, I shall not be forgiven him, neither hmm. in this word, neither in the world to come. So hmm. God is telling me firsthand that we do not ever hmm. supposed to lie on the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have perpetrators up at the altar. Mm -hmm. We have perpetrators in the house of God. We do. In 2 Corinthians 11, 3 through 13 through 15, King James Version, it reads, For such are false apostles, deceitful mm -hmm. workers, transforming themselves as mm -hmm. apostles of Christ. And mm -hmm. no marvel, for Satan himself transformed himself as an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great. Thing if he ministers, also being transformed of ministers of righteousness, something that mm -hmm. white, whose mm -hmm. end shall be according to their works. Mm -hmm. We see God lets us know that just as we go into the house of God, guess what? Satan comes up in the house too. Uh, He's seeking whom he can devour. He roams a Round like a lion around the world, seeking who he could devour. And so he's going to go anywhere, even into the house of God, especially mm -hmm. when we aren't prayed up if, and when we are not working mm -hmm. in according to the word of God. So many times we have people that are not doing what they need to. They haven't even prayed before mm. they even came into the, the house. And right. first John 4, 1 John 4.1 ESV um, says, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether it be from God. Mm -hmm. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. So God is telling us firsthand that there are false prophets. There are people that will appear anointed, appear yeah. to be holy, appear to be sanctified, but they're nothing but a devil sent from the pits of hell. They are right. a perpetrator. They are uh -huh. not of God, and they got people fooled. And God wants you to know, do not be fooled. Do not be deceived, mm -hmm. that you have to pray for discernment, that you yeah. have to be dressed in the full armor of God, that you have to pray for the Holy Spirit, which is a gift from God. Yeah, Just yeah. as we see in um, Acts 2, when we see the disciples, the people waiting in the upper room to be able yeah. to receive, being equipped with the Holy Spirit, and which is evidenced by the speaking of tongues. Once mm -hmm. we are equipped with the Holy Spirit, we have God operating within us and through mm -hmm. us. With that comes spiritual gifts, spiritual mm -hmm. And enlightenment to where God, we're going to hear and we're going to see in the spirit when we continue to show ourselves worthy by studying the yes. word of God. We, I'm like, we're never worthy or anything. That's how I feel. I'm like a filthy rag. You hear me saying? Saved by grace. You, you, you hear what I'm saying? But the more we stay before the Lord God, the yes. more we stay in that humble state saying, Lord, is you know when the more people you love on people that do all matters of evil against you the more that you walk in God the more that God can work in you and through you and within you yeah. and so it is up to us to where we decide if we're going to walk straight or if we're going to walk raggedy me and my house and I'm a team Jesus, we're going to walk with the best of our ability, with the help of the Lord God, because we can't do it without him. With God's help, we're going to be obedient to the will and the work of God, even when we pray. We always end it saying that, that may God's will be done because Amen. we don't want to pray out of the will of God. Mm -hmm. You have some people, oh, hallelujah, they have unclean spirits that's in the church mm -hmm. and that they be laying hands on other people and they, they be 
transferring spirits. In Leviticus 19, 31, it says, regard them not that have familiar spirits. Uh -huh. We seek wizards to be mm -hmm. defiled by them. I am your Lord God. God, God is telling us to where there may be somebody in your church that's calling themselves apostle, prophet, pastor, whatever, pretending that they have spiritual gifts, but it's mm. not spiritual gifts that may be operated and may be familiar spirit, familiar demons. You hear mm -hmm. me? And so what we have to do is have the gift of discernment or mm. some type of discernment through God to know who is of God and who is not. Because mm. in the word of God, it tells us that many of the elite and the last days will be fooled. And so yes. that's why we cannot be fooled. We cannot, yes. just like a lot of people were fooled by Pfizer. And then we found out at the Grammys how they sponsored mm -hmm. an unholy show. Yes. And, and, and my God, that's another topic. But we have to be able to discern. And, mm -hmm. and it doesn't matter what other people may say. Yeah. If God tells you something, and if he shows you something, do not waver. Do Amen. Not waver because it's saving lives. For those mm -hmm. that believe when you're telling them something and they believe what God is saying, their lives are going to be saved. Yeah. But those that don't believe, we, the ones that see and hear God, we got to keep them lifted up in prayer. Mm -hmm. That they, mm -hmm. that God blesses them with mercy and grace. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. And then too. You got some folks working up at the altar, thinking they all that in a bag of potato chips. We're going to go into the different parables of it. But first, God told me to give you these scriptures. In mm -hmm. Acts 19, 13 through 16, King James Version, it reads, then a certain, then, then certain of the vagabond Jews, exorcists, took mm -hmm. upon them to call over which had evil spirits. Mm -hmm. The name of the Lord Jesus saying, we adjure you by Jesus, whom Paul preaches. And there were seven sons of one Saka, a Jew, and a chief priest, which did so. And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus, I know. Paul, I know, but who are you? Who, who are you? Who are you? And the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped onto them. He leaped on them and he overcame them until I tell you what, and prevailed against them so that they fled out the house, naked and wounded. Mm -hmm. That demon beat that man down, beat them down. He beat them down. You know why? Because they didn't know Jesus. They Man. came up here and said, oh, Jesus, I know Paul, are you? Or who are you? Mm. We got some folks walking in the church, calling themselves anointed, calling mm. themselves godly, holy. Mm. But they can't cast out anything. Mm. They can't do anything. You know why? Because they may not be living holy at home. Yeah. They may not know God. And mm. that's why it's so important that when you pray, before you go to any altar, you are supposed to pray. Mm -hmm. You were to ask God, Lord, who is it that you will have me to go to? Amen. And to go to exactly who God told you to go to. And we're going to go into reasons why further, because this is very important. And so I need you to stay with me while um, God got me teaching you this. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, God. And then um, demons. Mm -hmm. Demons can enter into people and they can transfer from one person, one individual to another. I mean, um, see that actually in Matthew 8, um, 32, um, 28 through 32 and Mark. And it's also in Luke 8, 26 to 28. And this is when Jesus cast out the demons out the, the man. I'm going to read Luke 8, 33. And it says, then went the devils out the man and entered into the swine and yeah. violently ran violently down the steep into the lake and they were choked they drowned yeah and first timothy 2 22 
It says, lay hands suddenly on no man, neither be partaker of other sins. Keep thyself pure. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to take my time on this. We got folks that go in church and be laying hands on people that mm -hmm. should not be laying hands because what's happening is that you can transfer spirits. Say mm -hmm. this is the person that have a spirit of, uh, of lust on them. Mm -hmm. They haven't dealt with that spirit. They haven't mm -hmm. been praying. When they at home, they may be watching porn or whatever. But mm -hmm. now all other ways, they may be walking holy, but this is an issue. And you have a young female to where she's been doing good. Maybe mm -hmm. even a young male doing good, an older person. And this person that got that spirit of lust, they haven't been able to keep it on under check. They go and they lay hands mm. on that person that's trying their best to live right. Amen. And what happened is that that spirit of lust that is in that individual, it transferred mm -hmm. into it's that done. individual. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm, Jesus, Jesus, and, and, and the altar can be a playground for mm -hmm. demons at play. Yes. And so it is so important because there are watchmen. You hear yeah. me? There are watchmen. In Isaiah 62, 6, in the ESV version, it says, Oh, um, on your walls, oh Jerusalem, I have set watchmen all day and all night they shall never be silent mm -hmm. who you who have put in the lord in remembrance um take to rest god has placed watchmen to watch over you they yeah. are also our shepherds many people don't even know that they are to pray mm -hmm. to ask god lord what church will you have me to go to because mm -hmm. God has set a watchman over each person's soul to where mm -hmm. you are supposed to pray and ask God, Lord, what church will you have me to go to? What watchman over me? And that when he sends you there, you are to go mm -hmm. and you are to stay and you're not to leave. Hear me. You are not to leave until God told you to leave. If he sent you there, mm -hmm. you stay until you hear him. So mm -hmm. many people leave prematurely because they see other people leaving because mm -hmm. the pastor says something they don't like. Instead of working through it, they up and leave. And guess what? They're disobedient to God. Mm -hmm. So therefore, they're being disobedient to what God has put rule over you and over them. And you open up portals to be mm -hmm. able to be contaminated and recontaminated. And many times what you do is all the things that you have been delivered from, mm -hmm. you see them coming back and bringing seven more spirits, mm -hmm. evil words that we see in Matthew, yes. and in a worse condition than uh -huh. you were before. That some people said, well, nobody don't supposed to be up at the altar except for the pastor. Do you remember Moses? Mm -hmm. Do you remember Moses when all of the over 400,000 people thought that he led up out of Egypt out of bondage, right? That's right. your people to one man, right? Mm -hmm. And so his father-in-law, he was a wise man. Mm -hmm. And in Exodus 18, 17 through 23, Moses' father-in-law, it says, and Moses' father-in-law said unto him, the thing that thou doest is not good. Thou will surely wear away both thou and and this people that is with thee. For this thing is too heavy for thee. Thou mm -hmm. ought not to be able to perform it thyself alone. Hearken unto my voice and I will give counsel, be counsel, and God mm -hmm. shall be with thee. Be thou the people to God ward that thou mayest bring the causes unto God. And thou shalt teach them ordinances and mm -hmm. laws and show them the way wherein they must walk and the work they must do. You can go finish and reading it. It goes down to 23. 
Mm-hmm. But here, for those individuals that says, well, the pastor's supposed to do that, that it's, we see right here in the word of God, and we see it in some churches, to where the, the pastor disseminates that responsibility, and I just showed you the scripture that says and gives you the, 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 the meat and the mm-hmm. background to where yep. this is able to be done for those that, that got your own thinking. God is letting you know. No, the word is saying that he can appoint people. Mm -hmm. However, the thing is, is after he appoint those people, guess what? They must receive teachings. Yes. They got to be taught. Mm -hmm. Because you got people out here that are laying hands on people that don't have any business to be laying hands on people. Because we can tell when somebody mm-hmm. touches us, that's not of God. And we can tell when somebody touches us because we can start feeling ways that we shouldn't be feeling. Mm-hmm. And we, when people touch us to where the anointing is, we're going to know also. Mm-hmm. Even in Luke 8, 45 to 46, Jesus turned around and said, who touched me? Mm-hmm. Jesus asked. Then when they all denied it, Peter said, Master, the people are crowding and pressing against you. But Jesus said, someone touched me. And I know that the power has gone out of me. And so when we are doing altar work, and when Mm -hmm. we're up at the altar, we are able to tell when God uses us, whether yes. it's at the altar where if it's praying, because virtue leads out of our bodies. Yes. And that we should have somebody praying for us mm-hmm. to where or we pray and take that time to sit with Lord God and he can replenish us. That's mm-hmm. why you see after we preach, we pray for each other yes. that God replenish us. But the, I've given two situations or three to where we see by the touch, mm-hmm. by somebody's touching, that something can transfer in and out. Yes. And it can either be good or bad. Yeah. And so today is to help you to understand mm-hmm. and determine and be able to discern the good and the bad and how to prevent being yeah. touched by the unholy. Amen. Or how for you to know how Mm -hmm. to act and what to pray for and what to see regarding Mm -hmm. what is of God and what is not. Because Mm -hmm. a lot of people are being messed up. Yes. The church one way and Jesus, when you leave, you worse than you were when you went there. Come on. And so what our shepherds have to do is they have to pray and Mm -hmm. ask. God, who is it mm. that you will have me to put here to help with the altar? Mm-hmm. And then if you see them falling, if you see them doing something that is not right, sit mm. their butts down, quick mm. and in a hurry, because lives are at stake. You hear me? Lives are at stake. And mm. every life lost, mm. that is going to be upon you. And you yeah. don't want that. You, 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 you want the people to go get healed. You don't want it. Because in the word of God, it says that we will be accountable when God yeah. tells us to do something and we don't do it. Or we yeah. have to do it. We have to do exactly what God is telling us. Amen. I indicated that uh, it's four parables. And so mm-hmm. what I'm going to do now, and help me, Holy Spirit, is I'm not going to get into the parables because it's going to help you to realize and to be ad- able to identify that what's up at the altar. That way Amen. you don't know what to do and what not to do. In the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Okay, the first scripture, Lord, help me here. Okay, the four parables of the altar. Thank you, God. And the first one is the altar navigator, the show folder, the glory seekers. That's the navigator, the show boaters, and the glory seekers. Mm. these are the people that we see at the altar and you got to be watchful you got to see what's going on don't just be in a you you, we have to be spiritually astute let Mm -hmm. me do this before you go to church you should be praying the night before you should be praying a whole week before that god uses the man or woman of god that they preach you should be praying that people are going to be healed and delivered and set free You should be praying that you receive what God will have for you. 
You should be covered under the blood of Jesus. You need to pray God covers you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet and dress you in the full armor of God. Because Ephesians 6, 10 through 18, go back and read it. Because we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against yeah. spiritual wickedness, about uh, evil, uh, evil principalities in high places. And so the devil, as we already said, he comes to church. He already up in there yeah. waiting for you to walk in the door. He out in the parking lot waiting on you. He waiting on you to mess with you, to stop you from getting what it is. There are people, actual people and demons. There are demons that are sent to take you out. Amen. There are demons that are assigned to mm -hmm. you. There are demonic forces mm -hmm. that will come and attack you. And you yes. have to be aware of these things and pray up that they do not and cannot affect yes. you. And then you need to pr fast and pray before mm -hmm. you go up into the church. Sometimes, you know, you need to fast and pray. I'm just going to be honest, at least two to three times a week, two times a week, especially if you are called. Mm -hmm. Do it at least once a week. Even if it's just for half a day, if you have a health condition, you pray and ask God mm -hmm. how to guide you. But that's how we become spiritually strong because yeah. even in the word of God, especially if you're working up at the altar, because mm -hmm. the, the disciples was trying to cast out the demon and they couldn't. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said, some of these demons only come out through fasting and praying. And Lord, how mercy, we got folks up at the, uh, the, the, at the altar that been at Golden Corral three times a day, all week long. And they haven't fasted, not one bit. My God. They're coming up in there trying to lay hands on somebody. Sit your butt down. Sit down. Sit Man. down. If you know you've been out here sinning, if you mm. know you've been out here not fasting, if you know you're not right, sit down. Of God. don't be Jeez. standing up trying to lay hands on somebody. You're a showboater. You're a glory seeker. You want to mm. be seen. And people's <laughs> lives are at stake. You're messing people up. You're spreading demons. Those same demons that's on you, they're getting on other people. Man. Sit down. Stop trying to be seen. First yeah. up, I'm going to talk about the showboaters. Mm -hmm. In Psalms 10, 4, it says, the wicked through pride of his mm -hmm. incontinence will not seek after God. Mm -hmm. God is not in his thoughts. Mm -hmm. You got people in the church that are working. That are, or, or maybe somebody y'all having y'all prayer meeting at the house or on the prayer line or anything where you are coming together in the mm -hmm. name of the Lord God. That are not doing anything outside the church, not even picking up their Bible, not reading anything, not doing anything. Only time you see them or they do anything for God is on Sunday morning. And so mm -hmm. they're coming in there messed up from the flow up. And they laying hands on you and you're allowing them. And so mm. using discernment, shame on you. Shame on you. And shame on the people that allow them to do it. God mm. is going to hold you accountable. Sit these folks down. Tell them yeah. not to do that. Pull them aside. Call them out to church and tell them, stop doing what you're doing. Man. Sit down until they can get it right. Jesus, Jesus, that these, um, the, the altar navigators, Mm. That's a person to where you got altar workers that's up there at the altar and you got somebody that may or may not be an altar worker or whatever, but you got a person coming up there acting like they, the, what do you call it, so police, police traffic controller up there trying to control the traffic up at the altar. Mm. Sit your butt down the, because you know why? You want to mm. be seen. Yep. You're doing your will and not God. God is going to give the watchman of the house, the shepherd, and that shepherd's going to say, oh, hey, so-and-so, come and pray for this person. Oh, so-and-so, can you come over and pray for this person or that one? He is the one to do the navigation, not the altar navigator, not the person that want to be seen. Hey, God, my not saw you. Mm, does she have that to see? God gave me this specifically to say, and I'm just that bold to say it. I don't care if you get mad or not. Lives are at stake. Yeah. 
Yes. Sit your butt down. He's saying that this altar navigator sits up there. And maybe people, lines or whatever, let there be lines. It's okay mm -hmm. that other people come. It don't matter if you're there all day long or all afternoon, noon, all night long. You shouldn't be on a time clock when you come to church anyway. If you did that 12 hours until nighttime, it don't matter. You stay in there until you need to go. Stop putting God on your time clock. It's not about you. It's not about me. If Come you need a ride home, ask somebody else for a ride home. They give you a ride home. Mm, Jesus. And if they don't go, ask the pastor. Mm -hmm. Call me. I'll fast. I'll you some money for you can go and get home if you go up. If it's a healing going on. And if I got it, you got it. You hear me? Don't leave and not get your healing or your deliverance. And no negative thoughts about the woman of God or the men of God when they're coming forth and teaching and preaching the word. Keep your mind in check. When they are preaching or teaching the word, the devil wants to take our minds off. When a person is flowing and walking the in, in anointing, I read yeah. the scripture earlier that when Jesus says, I know your thoughts, mm -hmm. if you are anointed, God is going to give you that ability to hear the person's thoughts, to be able to help them. Yeah. And so when you're in church and you're thinking and you're going through these things, but they may the person may not know who it is. However, God is letting them know. And so he reached is out it's yeah. not for you to leave the church leave receive and stay because that means that god is working and he's taking you higher and higher so don't leave stay and receive because god is doing a new thing in you oh hallelujah yeah. that means that he's even listening to your thoughts that's yeah. See, why yeah. he loves you that much Amen. my god that's awesome that is awesome and so when the person mm, when a person is up there and you've prayed, say Sarah Lee, she done prayed and Sarah Lee, um, God told them to go to Billy Bob. And so they headed to Billy Bob and Billy Bob got three people standing there and pray. And so now you've got that altar navigator, mm. which is all out from the pits of hell. They're going to come up there and tell you, no, go over to this person, go over mm. to that person. No, you go over there. They ain't got no business directing, no traffic up at the altar telling oh. him who you to go to. That's you the mean? shepherd's responsibility. It's the watchman's responsibility because God is going to tell that watchman what's going on and who can help. Oh. Because you might be sending that person to uh, the person to where they're going to get worse. Mm -hmm. They're going to get worse. And what's so bad is that the person don't use their cognitive abilities and they mm. keep them. just walk them right on over there. Stop it. Stop mm. it. You're contaminating yourself. You're, mm. you're, and then you're going to go to God and say, Lord, help me. And he's going to say, didn't I tell you to go to so-and-so? Mm -hmm. Well, when they told you to go to this person, then why did you go to that other person? Mm -hmm. So you have to use your thinking, your wisdom, and stop telling people, if somebody told you to jump off the bridge, are you going to jump off the bridge? Nope. Is somebody going to tell you to slap somebody? Are you going to slap somebody? Mm -hmm. So if God has told you specifically to go to somebody for prayer, why are you going over to somebody that directs you to somebody else and it's not your shepherd? Really? Mm -hmm. Really? Stop it. And then you want somebody else and other people to pray these spirits off of you. But the thing about it, it can come right back if you're delivered then and you still don't, your mind's not changed or renewed because it, um, it tells us in Psalms, what is it? Um, the, uh, 51, uh, creating me a clean heart and renew a right spirit in me. If your mind's not renewed, then you're going to do the same thing. And if you got delivered when you called that person or went to that person and they got their deliverance and you go right back to church next mm -hmm. Sunday and you do it again and this spirit come back up on you. Worse. Guess what? It's going to go and bring seven more and you're going to be in a worse state because you listen to the altar navigator. 
because okay. the altar navigator and the showboaters and the glory seekers, well, um, they want they about them. They're about them. They want to be seen. They, they want to seem important. They want to seem anointed. May not have any anointed from God, but they're going to be in there perpetrating like they have an anointing. They're mm -hmm. perpetrators. They're haters. And um, they, they, they want somebody else's job assignment and that their job. They're wannabes. They, they feel that they can do a person's job better than they do. And guess mm -hmm. what? They are the type of people that often we see, they won't come to a person's face and mm -hmm. let them know how they're feeling. Hmm. they'll go behind their back and talk about them they'll go yeah. behind and get a group of people and be talking about them they are an enemy of god yeah. they're an enemy of it of do or, or those that want to do good that some are prideful jealous envious they're wannabes haters manipulators yeah. and you know what else they don't show no respect to leaders not at all. They don't show no respect to leaders. You can have rules in the place or in the house of God. You can have rules. It's just like on the job. You can have at the job, it tells you to wear a mask. Mm -hmm. And, and that, that you are the, the CEO of the company. And you may have even wrote the, the, the thing. You're supposed to be making sure everybody else got theirs on. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be there protecting other people. You, you, you hear me? I'm saying you can supposed to be able to protect and all your staff, but guess what? You, the main one that don't have it on here, this is how it's supposed to be. You know where yours is here and here or here. And you sit like that all day long. Hmm. So you don't respect management. You don't respect God. What mm. you want, you want to be in control. You want yeah. to be the, the, the HIC, HWIC, the HNIC, the HCIC, the HIC. You know what I mean? All the mm. IC you want to be. <laughs> I, because you want control. You mm -hmm. want control. You mm -hmm. are disrespectful and you override God and what God has. And you're overriding other people of what God mm -hmm. is telling them what to do. Yeah. That you try to navigate things within the church without it being even your function at all. Mm. Then you want God's glory. The bad thing is people actually listen and they put an, uh, uh, and then oftentimes people put an unholy or there's an unholy navigator up mm. there directing people and mm. lead, and not being led by the Holy Spirit. Okay. and that they are allowing demons to run wild up at the altar and so right. people are leaving in a worse state than they were before they came there oh, my, my god, god this is real this is real this is, this is happening far too many times and that the people got to wake up and that they have to be spiritually bold and don't be like oh i don't want to say nothing or um, you better say something your life is at stake your soul's at stake Who's going to mm -hmm. be there to help you to go get those spirits off of you? And that mm -hmm. if you bound like the guy um, that, 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 that we talked about earlier, clawing mm -hmm. at yourself, chain, nobody can see you. Got, got our legion on the yeah. rock. You have to have somebody that got God in them to be able to help that deliverance process. Yes. Jesus. And you, mm -hmm. the first thing is that they put other lives in danger at the Maybe, altar. Yes, they do. They put even their own lives in danger at the mm. altar. Mm. They transfer and I'm up there navigating oh evil God. spirits transferring into others. Jesus, it says be humble. Don't think you are better than anyone else. Stop Man. speaking vain glory. That's in Luke 8. Jesus, Jesus, there's a parable about the tax collector and mm -hmm. the, the Pharisees. It says to some who were confident in their own righteousness and looked down on everyone else. Yes. Jesus told this parable. Two men went up to the temple to pray. Mm -hmm. One of the Pharisees, the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood by himself and prayed, God, I thank you that I am not like other people, 
robbers, evil doers, adulterers, or even this tax collector. I fast twice a week and I give a tenth of all I get. But the tax collector stood at a distance. Hmm. He would not even look up to heaven, hmm. but beat his beard and said, God, have mercy upon me, a sinner. Hmm. I tell you that this man, rather hmm. than the other, went home justified before God. For all those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and mm -hmm. those who humble themselves will be exalted. Amen. And so what we have to do is that we have to be humble. We have to be meek. When we see ourselves getting prideful, we got to repent and go to God. Don't think that you can do it better than anybody. Don't think you all this in a bag of potato chip. Stop thinking that, what is it, the AKAs, the AIA, and the, the frat, this, frat, that. Those are Greek, are taking out the Greek gods. When y'all mm -hmm. carry that prideful attitude and everything, I don't care if you get mad. I don't care. Uh -huh. I'm going to talk to with what God is saying. And that when we put other things and people, signs and all of this stuff and, and, and these fraternities and sororities above God. We've made these things a little God. Yeah. We are not all that in a bag of potato chips and you will be humble before the Lord God. Yeah. And I would not want to be you so humble. Go, go there now yourself and repent mm -hmm. and tell God, I am guilty of these things. Yes. You know, I, I, I've been going up at the altar. I've been wanting to be seen. I want people to look at me. I want to seem holy. I want to seem this way. Stop uh, showboating. Stop mm -hmm. trying to get God's glory like you're doing something. I've even seen people, somebody in a gift, somebody up praying for somebody. Saw it on TV. Somebody praying for somebody and a person's going down. Mm -hmm. their and all of a sudden you see a crowd of people running up there like for when the person go down they're standing over them like they did it mm -hmm. Set your butt down you're gonna mess with the person's deliverance yeah or are you one of these other parables that i'm getting ready to come and talk about mm -hmm. the, okay this is the strange fire starter Mm. The altar workers that are strange fire starters. This mm. is the disobedient that are at the altar. Mm -hmm. And the thing is 10, 1 through 3, we hear firsthand regarding the, some of the first altar workers that got put in place after Moses disseminated some of that responsibility. It says, and Nadi and uh, Abaha, the sons of Aaron, took either of them a, his censer and put fire therein and put incense therein and offered strange fires before the Lord, which he commanded them not. Hmm. And there went out the fire from the Lord and devoured them. And they died before the Lord. And hmm. Moses said unto Aaron, this is that that the Lord spake, saying, I will be sanctified in them that mm. come nigh me. And before all people, I will be glorified. And Aaron held his peace. Mm -hmm. mm. We got folks with this mentality. They're fire start. They do strange fire. They're, basically, they are strange fire starters. Uh -huh. And they've been given the rule to work up at the altar. God mm -hmm. is saying, sit their butts down. Uh -huh. They are disobedient to the leading of what's been told and taught. This is all to work one-on-one. Mm -hmm. And it's way past due for many houses of God. Mm -hmm. One of the things that as Apostle Davidson and I are apostles of God, we're to set the houses in order. We're to come with that unadulterated word. God gave me this word to come. I, like I said, Laura and I, he had gave it to me about a month or so ago. But in obedience, not when I think it's good. Well, when I hear God says you're to come forth with this word, then you do it. We, mm -hmm. It's not in our time, but in God's time. Yes, yeah. These are the prideful people. Y'all seen prideful people. I've seen them in operation too at different houses of God. They go, these are the ones to say, and got a nerve to come up there and say, oh, I got this. Mm -hmm. God may be telling you something to go and give the person a word of life. 
Mm -hmm. A word of correction, a word, a message from God Almighty. And you go up there and the person say, I got this. Mm -hmm. This is my altar. I got this, that, all the that. Sit my your God. butt down. This is not your altar. Amen. What do you mean I got this? It's not about you. It's about God. We are supposed to hear, have an ear to hear and receive and be doers of the word. At least we are supposed to, even in the word of God, it talks about being able to receive a word from a donkey. Mm -hmm. Remember Naaman almost got killed by the angel standing down the road? Donkey saw him. He beaten the donkey down. The beating him. How many of y'all have been beat down by trying to give a person a word? And they uh, look at this like, I got this. Mm -hmm. Well, I tell you what, I've been beat. <laughs> I've been beat slash everything, trying to go do what God says to try to save people's mm -hmm. lives. And But then they got, I got this. Oh, I don't mm -hmm. need that. Oh, we don't need this. That's mm -hmm. not needed. In Proverbs 8, 13, it says, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogance and, and the evil way and that flow, that, that, that forward mouth. I do hate, unable to walk under the Holy Spirit. And they actually suppress the spirit where in 1 Thessalonians 5, 19, it tells us clearly do not quench the spirit. It tells us not to do that, but you got the fire starters, the disobedient, the altar fire starters, the ones, I mean, altar, strange fire starters. They're like, well, oh, Aaron's son. Aaron Sons was told not what not to do. Mm -hmm. They did it anyway. Yes. Say it again, woman of God. They did it anyway. Yes, they did. Mm -hmm. Mm. And they ended up dead. They ended up dead. Okay. First Thessalonians 519 says, do not quench the spirit. Mm -hmm. When you are working at the altar, you are allowed are, are supposed to allow the Holy Spirit to guide you in everything. When you're mm -hmm. up in there in flesh, if you're thinking about what's going on at home, sit down. Don't mm -hmm. go up there. Do not go up there. If you're not prayed mm -hmm. up, fast mm -hmm. up, you can get up there and get killed and kill yeah. other people. Oh, Lord Jesus. Do not go up there saying, these are the people that have the, 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 the mentality, my way is better. Mm -hmm. I know better than God. I know what's best for everybody. My, my background is mental health. I don't know no better than God. I did over 35 years. I'm not going to mm -hmm. sit up here and try to tell God how to do something. God what? Yeah, oh, okay. I'll, I'll just, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. It's the disobedient. It, it's those that hate on others that have an anointing. It's yes. those that don't want help. They want to be lifted up and seen. They they don't take God's word seriously. Mm -hmm. Oh God, I'm not gonna do that. That's not gonna happen. Oh, it's okay. No, no. Let, let, I, I, I'll go ahead and do it. It's it's okay. They're they're the stragglers. They're the ones that straddle the fence. Mm -hmm. They're also the gossipers, the slanderers, the haters of those that are saved. Those those that say I do, it don't take all mm -hmm. that. Uh -huh. Oh, y'all just holy rollers. It don't take all of that. You've heard people say, have you heard that Apostle Precious? I have. Go up there and say, oh, it don't take all of that. Oh, you just love uh -huh. the rich That's all you ever talk about. Hmm. I heard that before. Yes, hmm. yes, yes. The disobedient, the strange fire starters that's up, the, the, up there at the altar. They're mm -hmm. pretenders. Many of them have low self-esteem and low self-worth, and they portray themselves and want others to look at them as holy and anointed, and it's going to make them feel better, but it'd be making them feel better, but it's sinking them deeper and deeper, deeper to the lake of fire and to hell. Yeah. They encourage others actually to go against those in leadership position, those that have rule over them as such as the pastors. They want to be heard. They and, and and um they and he they come after the people that mm -hmm. want to hear God is well pleased with you. You mm -hmm. know, that they they don't they not like mm -mm. they see somebody, oh uh -uh, I don't take all of that. You ain't got to do all of that. You know, mm -hmm. you take things too seriously. 
Mm. I have heard so many people tell me I take the word God too seriously. Yes, I do. I take God very seriously and his word very seriously. His word is the same today and tomorrow and always. People not, but God's word is. So yeah. God, I'm going to stand on the unadulterated word of God that's never changing. It does not change. You mean? It's, it's people that transfer and try to transfer into other people's lives and they leave the altar. They have people leaving the altar in worse state mm -hmm. than themselves and they have them taking on the other spirits too. Mm -hmm. Jesus, and we already talked about Acts. And um, okay, now, Jesus, 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 remember that we were now is witches at the altar. Which is up at the altar. Mm. And Proverbs 17:22, it says that merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dryeth the bones. Mm. I also think about Galatians, what is it? Um, oh, you foolish Galatians who have bewitched you to where you have gone back to the what, what you've been taught. Sometimes mm -hmm. what we do is we have these witches mm -hmm. and warlocks, because it's warlocks too, witches and warlocks up at the altar mm -hmm. working. And what they do, they're there not to help, but to hurt, mm -hmm. to hurt people. Mm -hmm. They are haters, they mm -hmm. are envious, and they're jealous. And that they see when somebody else is getting healed and delivered in a breakthrough. And mm -hmm. they run up to the altar. Have y'all ever seen? Let me break this down. Have y'all ever seen people up at the altar? They're, they're up there. Somebody's praying for them and they're getting their healing and deliverance. And then they're going down like this. Mm -hmm. They're going down. And guess what? Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, a huge thing. They don't need no help. No, I don't need no help. And all of a sudden, all these witches, and mm -hmm. most of the time, you don't see no warlocks. The women are the ones you see doing this mess and stuff. These witches, well, I've got a cool warlocks in it, like God said, come running up into the altar and mm -hmm. circling all around the individual, trying to prevent them from getting their healing and the deliverance. And you My know God. what's worse? Say like this right here is the person, right? And they bending over like this. Next thing you know, you see the person coming, taking their hands and holding them like this. Why are you holding them? Why are you holding them? Let them go down on the altar and get their healing. You yeah. in their healing. You devil from the pits of hell. That's what you are. You a devil from the pits of hell. You are a witch. And you're yeah. stopping the people from getting their deliverance. Man, I think people don't see you. I see you when I'm watching the TV, when I'm watching, when I'm going visiting different churches and everything. I see you. Mm -hmm. We, the two saints of God, they see you. And mm -hmm. what we're going to do is what God tells us to do to, in, to, 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 to stop what you're doing. Mm, but you I see them it. swarming around trying to contaminate, trying to recontaminate, trying to stop people from getting their healing and deliverance. Why? Mm -hmm. Because they won't be able to hang out more with you. Mm -hmm. Because if they get their deliverance, they might um, be elevated and catapulted up in God. Mm -hmm. Because they may do better than you. I got it. Why are you hating so bad to where you don't want somebody else to get their healing and deliverance? You got a demon in you or two mm -hmm. or three, or you may even have legion up in you. I got mm -hmm. Keep your hands off of people at the altar. And this is from the Lord God Almighty. Mm -hmm. Touch not my anointed. Keep your hands off of people at the altar. Stop mm -hmm. running up and grabbing them. They do not need you touching them, spreading your venom, spreading your evil upon them. Stop it and stop it today. Yeah, yeah, da, 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 stop. Do you hear? Stop it. 
Stop mm. transferring those demonic spirits on the people. Stop coming and interfering with the work of the Lord God because that is what you're doing. You are interfering with the work of the Lord God and he is not pleased. And he has sent me forth today to tell you to stop. In the name of Jesus, release. Release. See, Apostle Davidson. We come against every non well wish, every prayer that is coming against. See, as we're trying to come forth with the word of God. In the name of Jesus. See, the more you try to come against and stop their yeah. healing, God is going to bless them the mm -hmm. more and more. Mm -hmm. And what your destiny will be is a lake of fire. So God is calling for you to repent. Mm -hmm. You know who you are. Yes. You know who you are. You know what you do. And you continue to do it. Some of you run around and walk around the church going from person to person, spreading diseases. It's even COVID going on now. We're still in COVID. And some of you going around touching people, grabbing them. And God ain't told you to go touch nobody. Man. You're going from person to person. Now, if you're being led under the Holy Spirit and God is telling you, he's going to protect you and that person. Yeah. But when you are walking around touching people and God ain't telling you you're contaminating people spiritually and you can also be contaminating them with germs, COVID, whatever else is going on and will be going on as God is warning. Oh, Hear this, hear this. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm, hallelujah. Why are you acting as witches? You were to stop today. Why are you acting as warlocks and demons? Oh, yeah, God, I saw, yeah, God, I see. You're to stop today. And then, oh, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Lord God, yeah, God, I see. Touch me, Lord, touch me. Yes, I touch me, God. Too. And then we have those. I, God told me to call them the recontaminators. Mm-hmm. These are witches that are recontaminating people after they leave the altar. Mm -hmm. They see that the person, they're sitting there, they're watching the whole thing, sitting mm -hmm. there. Hmm. Hmm. They getting their deliverance, huh? Jesus. Now they're not going to be wanting to hang out. They're not going to want to go out to the club with me. Why do they have to go out there? Jesus, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up there and touch them and grab them. So they go up there. The person receives their healing, receives their deliverance. Mm -hmm. Even when the witches may come around trying to stop it, God warriors are there to make sure that the person get their deliverance. Mm -hmm. And then after they get it, when they, let me back up. Then you got these folks to where the person is down on, on laying up on the altar and they go there and try to pick them up. Talking about they messing up my altar. First of all, it's not your altar. Amen. It's God's altar. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter if it's a thousand people stretched out at the altar. That's God's altar. And he's, he's doing his work. You hear me? That's what he's supposed to do. That's mm -hmm. why we go to the house of God to worship, to praise, to get our healing and deliverance. And when you get the mindset, it's too many people. Mm. I've laid at the altar. You are in flesh. Yes. You are in flesh and you're allowing Satan to rule you. Even mm. your thinking process, it is out of alignment with God. Mm. And then you have people going trying to pick people up before they get their deliverance to stop it. Yes. Do not touch a person and get them up until you see them showing signs of trying to get up. And that's when you help them. And yes. not all these other people running up there, but trying to get them up. A lot of the person that was working with them too. Mm -hmm. Stop being a showboater. Stop mm -hmm. coming up there. And then you see people running up there. Mm -hmm. Woo! And stop re to re contaminate them. And that's mm -hmm. why I'm talking about the person is sitting in the seat or the mm -hmm. person before they can even get, they still like drunk in the spirit, trying mm -hmm. to walk. And then next, you know, here they come, hugging, touching, rubbing all on them. And guess what? We contaminated. We contaminated. 
recontaminated. That person's soul is going to be on that individual. It's going to be on, and which is, is sad, but it's going to be on that watchman because he's allowing it to go on at the house. Amen. And so the and if you see this and your watchmen don't see it, you let your watchman know what's going on and you let him know people's souls and lives are at stake. Jesus, Jesus, the, um, these recontaminators are folks that are waiting at the altar, mm -hmm. waiting for you to leave the altar. They're like buzzers. Mm -hmm. They're like wolves waiting to devour you. Folks mm -hmm. coming to pull you up from the altar before you receive your complete healing and deliverance. Many times it's the same people that you spot in the church as witches and warlocks. Mm -hmm. Mostly witches in operation because men aren't emotional as women do are. Mm -hmm. And then we have the devil himself coming mm -hmm. to the church. Yes. First Peter. Um, five and eight also tells us to be sober because the adversary I, of the devil is as a roaring lion seeking about, walketh about, seeking whom he can devour. And so some of them, it, the, the, these, the devil himself, mm -hmm. his imps, his army can get on anyone from young to old, to male to female, to it, it can get on people and operate. Amen. And so, when you go to church, you gotta be prayed up. Mm -hmm. When you go to work, you gotta be prayed up. When you go anywhere, you got to stay prayed up because it does not just happen within the church, but within society. Mm -hmm. And you gotta be able to hear, move, and 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 go wherever God tells you to go. If He tells you to move, move. It tells you to stop and do something. You got to be ready. What needs to happen is number one is that it's reassessment time. Mm -hmm. It's time that the watchmen, you, those that are working in the ministry, that you reassess what's going mm -hmm. on. Reassess the things that you have seen mm -hmm. and that you establish true gatekeepers and watchmen on the wall. And that you let, because in Galatians 6, 1, it says that if you have an ought with your brother or sister, go let them know. And so some of you see things and you know what? You've been quiet. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say nothing. I'm going to have to, well, it's not my business. It is because God allowed you to see it. Mm -hmm. And because God allowed you to see it, he allowed you to do two things. And that's either pray and or do something about it and or both. Mm -hmm. because with me he had me praying for some things for years but then he told me you, you got to go forth now because I don't see a change mm -hmm. and so you got to follow and adhere to God's instructions mm -hmm. there need to be gatekeepers on the wall and when I say gatekeepers I mean ushers mm -hmm. we got ushers that that bring people that demons have been out the whole night before partying Ain't ever seen a church, ain't ever, I mean, just to like legion on the rock. And guess what? They bring them to the front of the church and set them down like in the first or second row to fill seats instead of ushering in the spirit. Sit your butt down if you don't know how to usher in the spirit. Did you pray? Have you prayed? Are you putting ushers towards the front that have discernment? It is time out for playing church. Yes. It's time to have a church. Yes, Lord. There should be miracles going on at churches. There should be deliverances going on at churches and healings. There should be the dead rising. You hear me? The lame walking, the blind seeing, those that have illnesses, lifetime illnesses being healed. The church is the hospital. Mm -hmm. It should not be the place to where you come and get in a worse state, mind, mm -hmm. body, and spirit. Then something is wrong. There's a disconnect. Then God has sent me forth. He sent mm -hmm. us forth today. Minister on engagement, Team mm -hmm. Jesus forth to call sin out for people can walk in their purpose, that people mm -hmm. can grow spiritually. This is a platform to where you are to grow. 
There's no way that you can keep listening to these teachings and preachings and stay the same. That you need to establish a front line of prayer, a powerful prayer warriors up in your church. They need to be watchmen on the wall. We're living in the day to where there are shoot people going up in the church and shoot. Yes, yeah. Do you have watchmen on the wall that are watching at all times? Every time the prayer, you got to be prayed up to when you come into work on particular job assignments, such as security, mm -hmm. as a watchman on the wall, as an usher, your eyes need to be open. If you're mm -hmm. a warrior, your eyes need to be open. When the pastor's eyes is praying for people, yours need to be open and watching what's going on, mm -hmm. praying and ready to intercede and do pray whatever God is telling you to go and do. Not to be reactive, but to be proactive, to yes. be able to walk in the spirit. You got to be able to be tuned in to hear God. And you can't do that being sinful all week long, walking up in the church, thinking you're going to be holy. If you've been sinful all week long, don't go to that altar. Amen. Don't you go on that job assignment. You messed up. Sit down and get it right. And next Sunday when you come up in there or the next day you come up in there, you be right. Yeah. Not coming in here to be seen because that's what you are. You're walking as a glory seeker. Mm. You're walking to be seen. Walking to say, oh, I'm a this or I'm that. Set mm. your butt down. It's not yeah. about the title. It's not about being seen. I'd mm. rather sit down in the seat and be watching and praying than up doing something and mm. so people can see me and not really doing anything but bringing yeah. more evil. Mm -hmm. Set Amen. your butt down. There needs to be a strategic battle plan mm -hmm. for the church in this day that we sit in where we got people shooting and crazy mm -hmm. folks just walking around, just doing all kind of crazy stuff. That there needs to be a strategic plan where you have people on the wall, you got the on um, the watchmen on the wall, you got the ushers that ushering in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Now say like you got this front row, that front row. Or the next those several rows is up at the altar, they need to be holy. Mm -hmm. You do not need any unholy people up in that front row that will come and, 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 and interfere with the altar work, with the miracles, with the work of God. Mm -hmm. And what you do is that, say you have um, two rows of holy people, the sanctified warriors, and then you bring somebody in that may got a spirit up on them. You may sit them on the third row, but what you do is you put somebody holy all around them. Mm -hmm. You put them around them. So where they're praying, somebody that you know just praying for the word, praying for services and deliverance. You don't go sit a bunch of witches together, a bunch mm -hmm. of demons together, a bunch of warlocks together, a bunch of haters together. You don't do that. You put people around them to mm -hmm. pray, mm -hmm. to keep the, 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 the covenant with God, to keep that, that evil from being able to operate, the being able to bind up so that the healings can take place. Yeah. We need to sit down and the churches mm -hmm. sit down. This is a this is a warning from God. Mm -hmm. Sit down the demons, the witches, the warlocks, the mm -hmm. haters, the strange fire starters, the disobedient, mm, and the recontaminators, and those who sit out in the, the, the congregation that are working as recongr uh, as recontaminators. Pull them aside and talk about it to with them. Say, hey, every time so-and-so comes there, go to the altar, I'm noticing you coming up, laying hands on them. Next thing you know, they've fallen out and they don't do that. When you and I'm telling and teaching you now, mm -hmm. people, when you see people leaving the altar, keep mm -hmm. your hands off of them. Do yeah. not touch them. Now, if they reach out to touch you, that's different. And then still you need to be hearing God to where I don't need to touch them. Because mm -hmm. I come to church sometimes to where God might be doing something or he may have me sanctified for something. He doesn't tell me not to touch anybody. Mm -hmm. And stop coming up and touching me for no reasons either. Stop touching mm -hmm. people. We're mm -hmm. in a day to where, oh, yeah, God, da, 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 so, yeah, to where there's COVID. Why are people coming up rubbing on people mm -hmm. from behind at that? Mm -hmm. You come up from behind and rub me. And when I'm trying to talk to somebody or I'm talking to somebody else, I'm looking at you. 
Mm -hmm. I'm looking at you because you, why you do it then? Why not when I'm in my face? Why not come greet me with a, it tells us to greet each other with a kiss. Man. Why not come hug me from, from the front here or the side or something? But I'm watching you. If every time I see you, you coming up from behind mm -hmm. and grabbing me and rubbing me. Mm -hmm. Keep your mm -hmm. filthy hands off of people. Keep your mm -hmm. filthy hands off of people. Mm -hmm. Lord, yeah, God, na, ma, na, sa, yeah, cha, da, 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 see. Lord God, Jesus. Yes. Lord, God. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. These um, the young witches, older witches. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, thank you, Holy Spirit. He says that what we do is we look at a person's age mm -hmm. and we allow these people that that supposed to be holy, we yeah. allow them to move and operate. God told me specifically to let you know, be watchful, be Amen. watchful. It's people are contaminating person it doesn't matter their age it doesn't matter their 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 male female people are getting contaminated yeah. some people got the spirit of pride and they're operating purposely to come against other people mm -hmm. and we are to be vigilant we're Amen. supposed to be watchful to allow these things thank you god lord god i pray that i've said everything that you have allowed me to pray. Yes. Um, Lord God, I pray I've said everything. Yes, God. Mm. God. God is saying that after I made this plea for you to go do the altar call, woman of God. But mm -hmm. my prayer is that for those today to come as the woman of God is going to lead the, um, Romans 10, 9. For those of you that have been touched at the altar, for those of you that have been in um, praying and all these people coming up, touching you, grabbing you by the waist and, and, or pulling you up, that, that as a woman prays, I'm going to be praying also and interceding that anything that is on you is that God delivers you. Amen. Or two, he's telling me now that we are coming up, that going to a fast for at least 24 hours before Sunday and get yourself together mm -hmm. before the Lord God repent. We are going to be doing a communion that God is leading after we do this. So repent if the, you were called out as being an a altar navigator, a showboat or glory seeker. That's the first one. If you were called out for being a strange fire starter, basically mm -hmm. disobedient. If you were called out as a third peril, being witches up at the altar, or if it was the fourth um, person, which is the contaminators, which are those to seek, after a person leave the altar to recontaminate them, waiting there to touch them and take them out. Mm -hmm. You have been operating as one of these parables. God is calling for you to repent. Yes. If you have seen these things or if it's happened to you, come before the Lord God now in prayer and ask for healing and deliverance. And that for him to show you anything that you have been recontaminated and contaminated with. God is saying for you to open up your mouth and start mm -hmm. talking. Yes. Start using it mm -hmm. nice, holy, sanctified. Tell people don't touch me when Amen. you see me at the altar. Don't don't do that. And that that when we see people doing that at the altar, we're to teach them and let them know you don't do those things. Mm -hmm. Go back and you'll even have the scriptures because this isn't just me coming. Mm -hmm. God wanted me to put scriptures with it also. So I Amen. put scriptures with it. And it's a bunch of scriptures that we've used today. So yeah. that way you can go forth on and teach others. Mm -hmm. But the altar has been, became a playground for sin and, and, and spreading demonic demons. And God is saying no more. And so I pray that you receive and that you walk in your newness and that this information catapults you to the next level in the Lord God. In Jesus' name, amen. I yield to you, Apostle Davison. Amen, amen. Romans 10 verse nine says, as I shall confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thy heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. It is amen. God is calling for a commitment to him today. You've been at the altar and you, you, yet, you haven't gotten saved yet. 
So God is calling you to salvation. God, once you get saved, you'll get delivered. Once you get delivered, you'll be filled with the Holy Ghost. But right, the next step is that you get saved. Say, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. I ask you to cleanse me, forgive me for all my sins. Wash me, make me whole again, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. I believe in my heart and I confess it with my mouth. That God, you raised Jesus from the dead on the third day. And I accept this as my Lord and my Savior. Ask you to cleanse me, deliver me from everything that's not like you, Lord Jesus. Cleanse me from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. And sign my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. And I thank you for being my Lord and my Savior and my King. Lord Jesus, I'm one of those people that, that Apostle Bonnie called out in this message. I may be a, a, a fire starter. I may be a, a show boater. I may be a recontaminator. Ask you forgive me for walking contrary to your will and your way for my life. Ask you forgive me for my disobedience. I want to be seen. Actually, wash me all over again in the name of Jesus. Cleanse me from everything that's not like you. Deliver me from myself. Deliver me from the demons that I allowed to take over me in the name of Jesus. I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that God, you raised Jesus from the dead on the third day. And I thank you for washing me. Thank you for my deliverance. Thank you for a change of mind, a change of heart today in the name of Jesus Christ my Lord and Savior. Amen. 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 Father God, we want to pray for Apostle Bonnie even now. We pledge all, everything, all the virtue that she gave out, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We pledge her from the crown of her head to the very soul of her feet, Lord God. Renew, restore, revive in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the word that you gave her on today, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Continue to cover her in your precious blood right now in the name of Jesus. No backlash, no repercussion, because she gave your gospel, God. You, she gave it like you gave it to her, Lord God. And we thank you for it right now. It is well, it is well, even now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm, thank you, God. Oh, hallelujah. Mm, that's good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. God gave me a vision and then he gave me a word. I mm -hmm. saw an altar and I saw the altar that's filled with people that's standing in line to come mm -hmm. and give their life to Christ. And he yes. said, word. Oh, yeah, that's not it. It's going to bring people back to yes. the altar. God gave me a word 
Amen. a warning to, uh, to those who, who, are, who are determined to go to that altar and pick people up before they get delivered. God said, give, me, give this example. I was in a, a prayer service and people were on the altar. And this pastor came in and he was told not to touch this woman that was on the floor. This is a pastor, not just a regular worker. He was told not to touch this woman that was on the altar. He went and touched the woman that was on the altar. He stopped breathing Jesus, Jesus. because he disobeyed. God mm -hmm. says for those who continually disobey, you're in danger of losing your very life. Yes, that's what he, yes, yes, woman of God, say it. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. They had they had the they had the, almost called the ambulance, but somebody somebody yeah. else went that prayed over him that was supposed to work the altar and his breath came back into him. He was he was yeah. almost dead until they came and prayed over him. Exactly, exactly. So be careful. If you know you're not supposed to be up there, whether you're a preacher, bishop, apostle. Whoever you are, that and you know you're not supposed to be up there to the altar. If God didn't call you to work to the altar, sit down somewhere because you can lose your very life. I mm -hmm. saw it with my own eyes. He has stopped breathing. My God, my God. My That's God. a word of warning to those who are, who, who are determined to go and work to the altar. You know you're not supposed to. No matter what your title is, God say, do not. Amen. Amen. Especially if he hasn't directed you or told you, mm -mm. you stay right there where you are and pray from where you are. Yes. yes, yes. Woman of God, I thank God because that's one of the things I kept hearing him say. So I thank you, Lord God, for giving it to Apostle Lord God, precious God, especially because I wanted to, I, I may not have made it known good enough to what God was saying. So I thank God for you iterating you hear me that god is saying that people's lives are at stake and that people are gonna die if they don't if they continue to do this and people's lives are at stake yeah i thank god i thank god for you re just reiterating that it's coming with that force that you did to let them know that what god is saying because he is he is saying this he said this so receive it mm, yeah. that's what I gotta see. he's warning he's yeah. warning mm. yeah. Jesus, Jesus, people's yes. lives are at stake. Yes, Lord. People's lives are at stake. People's souls are at stake. Mm -hmm. and he's holding mm -hmm. people accountable and he's not going to continue to allow this thing to happen. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's why he gave me about the strange altar. The, mm -hmm. I mean, strange fire to yeah. let you know that people can get killed up at the altar for disobedience. Yeah. That's why it's saying, I think it's, yeah, I think I get yeah, the strange fire started and the disobedient at the altar. Yes. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, woman of God. Yeah. Yes, yeah, God. To God be the glory. Yes. God be the glory. Amen. Yes. Uh, communion. This, yes, yes. At this time, we are going to have communion for all of those that have went to the Lord God and repented for all of those that want to do better. And that's yeah. all you got to want to do better. If you've repented, if you were called out, repent. You, uh, If you haven't did, or you didn't do it when Apostle Davidson did it, then do it now. When mm -hmm. the let God know you want to do better. There's nobody without sin. Nobody. Nobody. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. all got to do better. Just like yeah. you saw me saying, Lord, forgive me, Lord, because I I didn't think I did it good enough. So, yeah, so I'm like, Lord God, yeah, strange fire. Thank you, woman of God, because mm -hmm. there's nobody. And then, too, it can be so important. God really wants you to know that people got to die if they don't go do right. Amen. 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 Father God, we actually bless this communion. Bless the bread. Bless the wine. In the name of Jesus, cleanse us from everything that's not like you, Lord God. In Jesus' name, because we don't want to take it unworthily. Yes, in amen. Jesus' mighty name, amen. For I received of the Lord that which I also delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was, was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, take eat, this is my body, which is broken for you, this do in remembrance of me. Let us eat the bread.
as the same manner, he also took the cup when he had self sin. This cup is a new testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. Let us drink the cup. For as oft as ye drink, eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself and so let him eat of that cup, bread, and drink of that cup. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. That was an awesome, mighty word, woman of God. A much needed word in these last few days. It's time out for the church playing at the altar. It's not a playground. It's not, it's not Chuck E. Cheese. It's not McDonald's play, playground. It's holy ground. Amen. And that's where the Holy Ghost is, is most active doing prayer service at that place. That's where the presence of the Lord comes down and God is not playing. Amen. 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 Thank you, God. We thank all of you that have joined us today. Yes. We weren't watching the, the comments at this time because of the just the importance of the word that was coming forth. And so give us time to be able to respond to each one of you. It's important. If you want to talk with us about anything, just put a comment there on Facebook Messenger. Uh, we love you and we thank God for you and share this word. Yes, yeah, mighty word. Amen. 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 Now unto him. Oh, and I thank God for the woman of God, um, our sister Laura, God for oh, yeah. you, the anointing being on you to yeah. where it gave God used you to bring forth this word. So God bless you, woman of God. I mean, God bless you with a, a triple uh, postulatic anointing in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Yeah. Oh, amen. Now on him who is able to keep you from falling. And to present you false before the coming of his glory with exceeding joy, be dominion and power and majesty both now and forever. In Jesus' name, amen. Jesus. Join us tomorrow at 6 30. Amen. Hey, at what time? 6 30. <laughs> amen. 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 I love you, you all. I love you, woman of God. <laughs> love you. Mm -hmm.